So a new day and a brand new evolution is here. It is a paid one, but stop right there, one and two. So if you can do this twice, um, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't give a playstyle plus, which is a W, which means you might be able to do it once and then potentially put that card again into this one here. But it is paid. It's going to be 75k or a massive 350 FC points. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team Coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. So I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit excited here because overall max 85, shooting max 90, dribbling max 82, physicals max 85, and position as a striker. Must not be base icon, so it could be heroes, I guess. But there's no unless Peter Crouch fits into this, I'm not too sure. I believe he's 85 rated, but there could be some decent cards here. I'm on the RTG, so options are limited in regards to my club. But I'm looking at Babajide, and the upgrades are plus one overall to the shooting, big plus nine to the passing, plus eight to the dribbling, plus two to the physical as well. So we like what we see. Press proven, tick attacker, and first touch gets added. It's a little bit of a grind. There's more than most of the recent Evos in regards to actual games needed to be played there. But still, anyone decent, Darwizzy. Darwin Nunes, 85 rated Darwin. Is this the best Darwin on the game now? Does he like overtake the FC Founder version? I'm not too sure. Um, I did. I believe you get 86, can't you, with the FC Founder? But maybe a potential chain if you're able to like do... Ah, oh, he's got 90 pace. Never mind. I was going to say, um, is it 90 pace or shoot him? Hold up. Okay, so potentially could you chain... Darwin Nunes do one FC founder and then use uh, a check later on foot.gg. But Adeyemi is also eligible. He only goes to an 83, which isn't anything insane if you think about it. Like that card realistically isn't anything crazy. Four star, five star, with that, those kind of stats aren't bad, I guess. But nah, I think it's probably going to be a void, especially for the price tag. 75k. If this card was on the market, I reckon you'd 100% uh, be cheaper. But let's head over to foot.gg and see the best chains we could do for the brand new stop right there. Uh, bear with me two seconds, let me load it up for you. Here we go, stop right there. We're gonna keep our actual chains available first, see if anyone really stands out. So Peter Crouch is there. Big Peter is eligible for this. Uh, what does it do to the card? How are we looking? 84 passing, 86 dribbling. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't improve the pace, which is like the main thing here, especially with Peter Crouch. You want at least a bit of a pace boost, don't you? Um, but yeah, it doesn't quite provide that, this evolution. Any standout Morata, once again, 88 rated. I wonder if that's his uh, Euro, yeah, it's his Euro card thing. That's, yeah, not going to happen because he's super expensive on the market. Um, ooh, got to be a team of the week, surely. Okay, no, it's a chain. Gross foot one or two into FC Founders. And then the stop right there will get you this card. Doesn't look too bad, but once again, like if he was on the market, it would still probably be cheaper than the 75k that this Evo is requiring. Um, any proper standouts at first glance? These are like chainable options. I will check out the unchainable options in a second. I just like doing it this way first for whatever reason. Big Tammy Abraham again with the 89 dribbling. Mr. Barry, is that the Swiss League for you, lads? Uh, oh, yeah, you're chaining evolutions here. If you're doing that as a commitment, um, I don't think he's quite worth the chain by the looks of it. Three star, four star, medium low. Absolutely not Barry, mate. We'll be avoiding you for sure. Uh, Wilhelmsen. There's a few like standard looking cards, nothing crazy. Is this a um a team of the week? I know, I think I've got his team of the week. Okay, it's not. So it's Ghost put one dribble sensation into the stop right there. Not bad. Really good dribbling. That's minus the agility. Like if he gets a team of the season this year, he could be absolutely phenomenal. Um, I know he's got a strong nick as well. Sagankov plays for the same team. Paul Mullin, 88 rated. Big Paul Mullin. Wrexham fans where you're at. Four star, four star. FC founders upgrades need to be done. Two of them. Ghost Spurt as well. Ridiculous dribbling stats. Like absolutely insane dribbling stats for the boy. And he's a legend. We do love a bit of Paul Mullin around here. So he's a nice option. Um, I'll probably just go through like the 88 and 87s in regards to the chains at the first glance. Only Watkins hold up. Okay, so it's a Founders. Ah, so what? Two paid evolutions. I believe Trey Quatista time still available. Let me see on console real quick. It is not. So may, or maybe it is. I'm not too sure. But I'm pretty certain it was 75k. So this card will be 150k. Looks decent. Tick attack a place down plus on there, of course, because of the Trey Quatista time. Pace split, not bad. Shooting's good. Dribbling's really nice on the boy. Good physicals as well with the strength, lack of aggression. Three star, five star. If you've got coins to spend or FC points, that could be a decent alleyway as you get yourself a good card there. 
Foley. No clue what league that is. I'm not going to look at the card. I can't imagine that uh, chemistry is going to be easy. There he is again. Big Oli Giroud with 43 pace popping up. All right, let's have a little look at cards without the combination. So standalone one putters. Okay, now that's not his. That's his normal, isn't it? I was going to say. If you could put his SBC into a, an evolution that quickly, that'd be pretty crazy. Uh, Watkins again. Is this the team of the week? You know what? That could be a shout. He looks pretty solid. Three star, five star. Skill moves aren't there, but 90 pace, 89 dribbling. Really good shooting stats. I've used this Centurions card, which I believe is 87. So that goes up to an 88, which is quite nice. I saw this man's team of the week the other day, and I was thinking to myself, I wonder if he's going to be eligible for an evolution soon. La Liga. 90 pace, 90 passing, 90 dribbling as well. Really, really solid card. Passing is good, as well as the uh, the shooting and the pace. Let's keep on going real quick. Babajide, we saw a minute ago, four star, five star. Uh, interesting first name. 89 passing, 88 dribbling, 90 pace with the four star, five star. Great selection of play styles as well. Yes, please. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Looks really good. Four star, five star. Uh, the fiance wanted a word real quick. Igor Tiago. Not a bad option, but I'm pretty certain he's going to be a team of the week, right? Yeah, team of the week. That's the issue with these cards. And obviously the leagues are going to be very difficult, but you're not going to be using many of these players because of chemistry links and the fact that this team of the week probably came out, I don't know this for a fact, probably came out like, I don't know, four or five weeks ago. So getting chemistry is going to be very difficult. Or well, not getting chemistry, picking them up off the market because they're going to be extinct. Williams, no way. Lynn, super Lynn Williams could be a shout here. Is it going to load for me? It is. Her card at the start of the game, the gold card, was mad. Four star, four star. What play styles does she, she has anticipate? Press proven. Block. Is that right? I don't know if, that, if that's correct. If they're the correct play styles we should be getting here. But crazy looking card. And could be a shout for NWSL links. Definitely worth considering for sure. She does that one of the better options. Goncalo Ramos is eligible for 95 different evolutions. I swear he's on every single one of these. Ooh. Might be one of the popular ones here. Lewis Appender, you've already got fantastic pace on the card. Big boost to the passing and dribbling, three star, five star. This could be one of the go-tos, I'm pretty certain, because he's got promo cards that are worth a fair amount. So definitely one to consider. Same with Dara Nunes. I am intrigued to see, if I load up this real quick, can I see if you could put a Founders upgrade into stop right there? I don't think you can. I believe one of the stats just goes a little bit over. So the highest rated we can currently get is that 86 still for the Founders upgrade, which is disappointing. Maybe if that was his highest rated option, I'm sure it might be worth paying for it. Um, Oli Giroud, again, stand out. Saar, I believe, is now on the game. I believe she changed teams, though. I'm not too sure exactly where to, uh, but this card is now eligible. Four star, five star, 90 pace, 90 dribbling, 86 passing. Uh, she looks pretty solid, you know. Um, the stats on paper don't look anything insane, but you could go up to an 88 with her it's, it's nwsl i'm pretty sure uh, pretty certain five star five star as well crazy crazy option uh apart from that we're looking a bit limited in regards to like the standalone players foot.gg must have a lot of traffic at this stage because it's starting to lag a little bit for me so let me just round it off here and recap the best players that we have found so far being real there's not too many crazy options that I consider paying for. Maybe Openda could be up there. Darwin Nunes, if you didn't go ahead and do the uh, the other versions, the Founders Evolution for sure, could be a decent shout. Also, Ollie Watkins, this team of the week, if you're able to get your hands on it, if you've got it untradeable, definitely worth considering for sure because the dribbling stats are amazing. The reactions, the ball control, he knows where the back of the net is. No really cr like crazy finishing play styles, but still really good. Not, don't mind Danny Rodriguez. Really don't. 90 pace, 93 passing, 90 dribbling. Like maybe as a cam or even as a centre mid. Could do a solid job for you. He could be one of the most popular ones. I'm pretty certain his team of the week is still in packs as well. Um, so definitely a decent idea. Uh, and it looks like the best looking card of his on paper. This one is better shooting. However, uh, yeah, he looks like a decent little foundation for potential future craziness to come, I am sure. But I'm going to end it there, guys. I hope you did enjoy this little evolution chat as always. Let me know your opinions down below. Who do you want to do for stop right there too? Can you chain any potential Evos that you've got yourself? This stat on the screen doesn't look too bad. But once again, a team of the week. I'll be more. See, subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you later.